morning. It's Wednesday and it's time for Heartfelt Habits. Let me just check. I just need to make sure I'm live in the right place. It says I'm now live, so that's good. Good morning, Facebook. Good morning, Instagram. It's time for Heartfelt Habits. So um, I've called today's Heartfelt Habits, Organise Yourself. And the reason that I've done this is because I have realised that um, on my own journey, one of the things that I am resistant to doing is committing myself to daily or weekly or some kind of regular commitment to something that I know is going to benefit me. We all do this in many different ways when we realise that we're at the point where things could actually change for the better. We can find ourselves making excuses for why we don't want that thing to happen. So my suggestion or my call to you today, if you like, is to find one thing that you don't have to feel like you know it will make a difference, but maybe it's something you know you need more of in your world. Are you avoiding something? Are you putting off doing something that is actually going to be really beneficial for you, whether it's for your health and well-being, whether it's for your happiness levels, whether it's to make you more productive at work, whether it's to make you commit to doing something that gives that feel good aspect in your life. And it could be committing to doing something for someone else. On a, on a regular basis, like volunteering or something like that, that is so good actually for our well-being. Because I do talk a lot about choosing things that are for you and being a little bit selfish, but also there are times when doing something that fills your cup because you're doing it in a way that helps you feel good, but it also benefits somebody else, can actually make a difference too. So, my suggestion today is when I say organise yourself, what I'm talking about is look at your week, look at your routine, look at your timetable, look at your commitments and see if you can find a little bit of wiggle room to fit something in that is going to make a difference. So the example that I would like to share for this is that back in November, I was on an accountability call with my some of my coaching buddies and I talked about the fact that I had realised one of the things that was really missing in my world was regular exercise. I wasn't doing it. I wasn't making excuses. I just couldn't be bothered. And we had this conversation and one of my coaching buddies, Rishi, just said to me, what is stopping you from doing this, from making this commitment? I'd been offered a solution which was just to get up early like as many mornings as I wanted really a week and I had kind of three mornings a week in my head as a starting point to um, be accountable to doing something on zoom online with one of my other buddies who's um, not local and just do some regular exercise routine stuff and I was like yeah I'll get back to you on that and he was like he kind of pushed me gently and said, what's stopping you from saying yes? And I was like, mm, me, I'm stopping me from saying yes. And there was no real reason for it. Um, but what I actually did was I started back in November, mid-November, um, with my accountability buddy, Amanda, and I just made that change. And what it meant was getting up a little bit earlier, three mornings a week, fitting it in in a way that meant I felt as though it was enough and it was making a difference to me and it was me making a commitment to myself also. And I started that in November and I've had the odd bit of time like sort of over Christmas and when I wasn't feeling very well, which was actually last week, where I didn't, but I was OK with it. I didn't see it as being I'm not doing it anymore. It was just no for right now. This isn't 
really what I need. And so then it started this week and I thought, so on Monday I was still feeling a little bit ropey and I thought, oh, I'll just get up and do some movement. It doesn't have to be anything major, but at least it's something. And I'm still keeping that commitment to myself. And then this morning I was like, no, I'm back on it. And there I was, 30 minutes in my kitchen. I'm still feeling a little bit trembly, actually, because it was quite an intense workout. But it did me so much good and it was a great start to my day. So when you introduce exercise as one of your, you know, really super important well-being things, and I'm not preaching because I've just told you my story, which basically was I hadn't done anything much at all apart from go for the odd walk up until about mid-November. I just want to be real with you about that. But exercise is good for us. It is important. It is a well-being strategy. It is something that gives you so much benefit even if it is just going for a walk regularly. And I'm looking out the window and to be honest, if you didn't want to go out for a walk today, I wouldn't blame you. But um, yeah, it's one of those things that we can often resist the thing that we know is going to make the difference. So my call to you today is actually I've got two things for you to think about. One is. What do you need that helps you do something that stretches you a little bit? that can help you if you added something into your routine today that you knew was going to make a difference, what would it be? What would it feel like? What would it look like? How would it impact you? What would be the benefits? That's one. The other one is, I'm not sure if you know this, and I had a conversation with um, a lovely girl who I've known through networking, various other things yesterday, and I was telling her about my heartfelt help in your pocket group, which is a mini group coaching um it's just a whatsapp group actually that has paid members in it who are in there to make a commitment to themselves to help themselves find a way to really be more accountable for their health their spiritual well-being their happiness their great habits that they need and um lots of things have started to shift for these ladies as they've been in this group it's been a really beautiful space so Another suggestion for you would be if you want to know more about that, get in touch beneath these videos in the comments. Drop me a message and just say heartfelt pocket, heartfelt pocket. Two words and I can send you the information that you need. I'm actually in the process of writing up a page for it to go on my new website, which I'm hoping will be with us soon. I got a little bit side, not sidetracked. There just was more to do than I thought on it. So that will be going on my new website and you'll be able to find out about that easier. But if you want more information, please let me know, because sometimes really what we need is we just need somebody else to hold that space for us so we can explore and figure out and think about what it is we actually need. And I would love to be that person to help and hold that space for you. It's worked so well with the ladies that are in this group right now. It is a very, very intimate group, but a really lovely space just to have somewhere that you can go with your stuff, talk it through with people, put it down for a bit and start to think about what it is that you actually need. So two things for you. Think about what you could do, what would be helpful for you, what would be most beneficial. And the other one is, if you're not sure, Maybe think about hopping over and joining the group. It's actually half price at just £7.50 for your first month. And then it's £15 per month after that. So it's 50p a day. Um, and for me, if I'd had something like that available way back when, when I needed somebody to kind of keep me accountable, I would have totally gone for it. And I know that I would say that, but I am in membership groups in a similar way that keep me accountable for what I'm trying to do to grow my business. So when you're working on you, you sometimes need that little bit of cushioning and support. And that is what it's there for. So if you'd like more information about that, just put heartfelt pocket in the comments and I will send you more information. It's freezing cold sitting here in this room today, so I'm not going to stay here for long. I'm just shuffling my cards and I will pull a card for you now that will give you another bit of a prompt, something that you might want to think about that might be useful for you right now, that might be something you've not considered. 
these cards, the A to Z of self-care, are a great way to really commit to doing something daily where it just reminds you that there are so many things available for you and you don't have to think them all up for yourself. So you can either work your way through the alphabet and do the full A to Z and then the other full A to Z because there are 52 cards. So there are two for each letter of the alphabet um, that are some of them are more practical. Some of them are more spiritual. Some of them are more emotional things just to get you thinking a little bit more about what you can do to take better care of you. So in the A to Z today. We have. O for opportunities. Chance creates change. Seek out connections to help you grow. And that actually sort of ties in with what I was talking about, which is the WhatsApp group, because sometimes you just need to know that there's somebody that's got your back, especially when it's somebody that's impartial and you never know where you're going to find that person. So if you found yourself watching this video and you're like, I don't know how I even ended up here, but actually that makes sense. Then maybe that's what you needed to hear today. I am a firm believer that the right thing will always find you at the right time. You might not necessarily know when that time is, but when it does and it lands and it makes sense to you and it feels good, then you know you're in the right place, in the right space with the right people. And then the affirmation that goes with this card, because every single one of these cards has an affirmation to go with it too. Today's affirmation says, I act on chances to help me grow as a person. And I am offering you that possibility. What do you need to help you grow? I'll leave you to think about that. I'll look forward to hearing from you. If you've got anything to say about this, if you're watching on replay, hit hashtag replay. If you'd like to know any more about different ways you can work with me, you can just pop over to JacquelineKent.co.uk and um, everything that you want to find will be there for you. I'll look forward to hearing from you very soon. Bye for now.